All right, ladies and gentlemen. So today we're gonna be going over should you summon for the new mono, which on global we should be getting Tuesday morning, depending on your time zone. It could be Tuesday night, Tuesday night, whatnot. In about two days time, in about two days time we'll be getting mono. Um, actually, I think it's like one day. Yeah, one day. So like, no, two, 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 two days, two days. Whenever updates usually drop, like 2 a.m. on the Tuesday for my time is when we'll be getting it. Uh, we're going to be going over the banner, um, what's going to be coming next, and uh, over her actual kit. So, without further ado, let's hop right on in. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, yeah. So, basically, Mono, uh, she's a green unit. She's a very good unit, I won't lie. Um, her banner overall is pretty darn good. The only units that I would say is an absolute L in my opinion would be uh, Green Easton because she's not really that great and you most likely have her. MK2 is all right. Like, Easton's not bad. She just doesn't have like a meta and she's pretty squishy. Um, this Valenti is absolutely horrible, um, but there's obviously uh, Lilia, so she's really good. This Lilia is pretty good on a control team. Uh, this mono is still pretty good, but compared to this mono, I think that this mono is better. Um, Roxy is all right. Roxy, this Roxy can hit hard. Shin can hit really hard with his uh, relic and whatnot. And then Easton just uh, makes you tank. It's really cool all she does. Um, but, but overall, it's a fairly good banner. Um, not the best, but definitely not the worst. Um, and then you have to also take into consideration that with the trolling of the votes, a lot of the uh, a lot of the uh, the, aniv the anniversary banner is going to be coming up in three weeks i think because i think this week is jp's anniversary i believe unless they extend it till next week i'm not really sure on how they'll do it but uh yeah if we go on to the votes uh the the, the fest units are pretty good like because i believe we're only getting the top three um so it'll be melly king and margaret so fairly good but this is where like i've seen so many people just say that they don't even want to summon anymore just because of a like there's gonna be Escanor on here which is an l there's gonna be blue demon melee there's gonna be like arthur's all right i guess tarmiel is pretty good but then there's like these three like chandler's just not even that great to be honest unless you use them on assault melee team but even then assault melee just gets washed by like any meta unit nowadays um diane like she's okay she works but that's not the diane you really want you want the new diane she's actually cracked and then what the fuck <laughs> why is she here i would have preferred this unit because she actually is like fairly rare but she's only been on like one or two banners and she, she could be fun i guess and it'll be a new unit for most people but yeah like the anniversary banner isn't even all that great like these units are all fairly good okay never mind i forgot that asking was like right here like these three units are what you want and you couldn't even vote for Tarmiel. So I'm feeling like there's going to be a part two, like an anniversary or a, a fest banner about a month after, like how they did Trader Melly and uh, Chad King. So be on the lookout for that. That's what I think is going to happen. And I think that banner will be significantly better unless you need Jormungandr or Magilva. I don't think these three units will be on there since these are the three highest rated ones. I think uh, the Tarmiel will be on the next uh, fest banner. Uh, hopefully Diane. And I think it'll be a much better value overall if you already have these two units because you don't need their dupes. You, you don't need them. Now, uh, these three units kind of need dupes. Like, 1 6 Melee is pretty shit. I'm not going to lie. 1 6 King, horrible. 1 6 Margaret is actually pretty good. But uh, you want a 6 6 for that extra effect, just like Purgatory Bond. But at least Purgatory's Bond's ult sucks. Margaret is a fairly free to play unit, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, uh, let's go over the kit now. Um, so the banner is good. It's not god tier or anything, but it's, it still has really, really good value because of the blue Lilia um, and all the other units on it. Like they, they all support the OC team if you want to go for a full OC team, even though I don't think that that is her best team, but it's a fairly good team from what I've seen. Um, and yeah, let's go over their kit. So she's a green unit. She's a human. At the start of the allies turn, decreases the crit resistance and crit defense of enemies who do not have a debuff by 30% for one turn. So what you want to do is not run Sariel Grace. So if you run this team, you don't need to run Sariel. You don't need to use that person as a link. Uh, I mean, I guess unless you want to max out Lilia's passive turn one, but honestly, you don't even need to. Um, because all you have to do is just have the mono, they decrease their uh, stats, and then you AoE Lilia, AoE with uh, 
this unit because she has a uh, spike AOE and then you single target with Lilia and hopefully you kill someone. If you kill one person, it's a really good deal because that usually means that they forfeit and their entire team just falls apart. And you'll have a dissolve on the team so that way even if they try to ult rush, they can't really do it unless they have a cleanse unit like Margaret or something. Um, I forgot the other pass, part of their passive. Then increase the hero's attack by 7% every time this effect applies up to 10 times. So you can get an extra 70% of attack, which does help because you know I have a weak point card, but that's not really the main part. The main part is the debuff. The debuff is insane. Um, and then if you start running into a lot of cleanse units, you could even run like Rimuru, and then you would remove like their shield or anything that you run into, like a mono Rimuru and then Lilia. That, I think that would be really gross. I have a team in mind, but it's not with Rimuru because uh, I don't like Rimuru as much as the unit I'm thinking of. I'm not going to say it because that's how I'm going to showcase her on global when I summon. Going to be going like 1-6. Probably going to just stream on Twitch. Uh, so subscribe to my Twitch. Link in the description. That'd be epic. Or not sub, but uh, follow. You don't need a sub. I don't think I can even get subs. Um, but yeah, she's a weak point card as well. 120% uh, of attack on one enemy, all the way going up to 300% of attack on one enemy at rank 3. Haven't seen a weak point card in a while from what I remember. And weak points, since she instantly applies the debuff, is really good. The thing I hated about Jericho is uh, like that's the, the main weak point unit that most people think of, I feel like. Um, I just hate the fact that she has to waste a card and then go in. Like, I, I don't know, I didn't really like it. I wish, I hope Jericho uh, gets a Holy Relic that like applies a debuff instantly or increases her attack related stats or possibly even both. That'd be really good um, because it would help all the Jerichos realistically. Um, and then she, uh, Mono has a Spike card. Spike, if you don't know, is a two times crit damage increase. Also, weak point is, uh, if you guys don't know, because it's fairly rare to be honest, uh, weak point is three times damage against debuffed enemies, and that's why it's so good. The entire team of the catastrophe teams usually rely around debuffs, so it's a fairly good kit. Um, her spike card equals up to 100% of damage on all enemies. I believe this is the damage dealing card. Um, I thought it was a weak point AoE. I haven't watched any videos on it. I've seen a few clips, but that's about it. I want to go in and just like learn and find it for myself how I like her if I don't like her then I'll tell you but uh, from what I've seen she looks like she's a really good unit um, and then she inflicts a uh, spike equal to 250% of attack on all enemies pretty solid pretty solid and then she has secret technique which apparently if you because of her passive you don't even need her 6-6 like she still hits really hard like I think she hits for like 7 800k at 1 out of 6 um, obviously depends how many cards you have um, I assume if you have like 2 or 3 cards you will most likely wipe most teams which is really really good uh, so it, I'll, I will be going 1-6, so I will let you know if a 1-6 mono is good. Um, I have all the gear that she needs. I have attack crit and HP crit. I don't know if I'll be picking up her uh, cosmetics realistically. I might just get one of them. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, I think this is a very, very good unit. A very good banner, to be honest, overall, unless you already have all of them. Like, if you already have all the units, don't go chasing Lilia. Um, you will most likely not pull her like no there's really no other unit you really want to chase after on this banner realistically like in terms of like just getting them especially if you're free to play like the only good one that you would want to chase is mono and uh, lilia the other ones are like good but not worth potentially having to go 600 and not even be willing to pull them um so but then you have to think about the anniversary banner. Are you hyped for the new Liz? Because it's 99% chance of being a new Liz. You could wait till see uh, what the anniversary unit is. Because I believe we get the live stream on Wednesday. And so if we get the live stream on Wednesday, you just have to wait a day or two before you summon. Be like, okay, that unit is garbage. I don't want it. Or that unit is really broken, but I don't really care for the unit. Uh, like how a lot of people felt with Goddess Liz. Um, obviously, if you like the unit, go for it. Like, this is a freaking game. Don't go for only meta. That's not how you're going to have fun, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think uh, Mono is a very, very good unit. If you're going for uh, fun, I think this is going to be the character. If you're going for meta, I think the anniversary unit is going to be better. I, I just think it. I don't see the Mono being an absolute meta powerhouse. Um, from what I've seen, she's not really that relevant on JP. Like, I'm going to be honest. I think I faced one of her and my Diane beat her. I free to play Diane, one out of six. So I don't know what to say to you, uh, but yeah, uh, in my opinion, I say skip unless you really find this unit fun because she's definitely a good unit. I would say probably A tier uh, out of an S tier. P people think I rate everything on SS tier apparently in my Discord, and no, that's stupid. SS tier is stupid. Just go S through F. That that's basically it. Um, so yeah, um, but now uh, we will be getting this Hawk for free. Um, 
got to six six this hawk bro got to get that box cc um and then next week or this week in about four or five days we should see what the anniversary unit is hopefully it's a good unit i assume it's gonna be absolutely cracked absolutely meta defining um and then we will also be getting this free banner quote unquote uh i'll probably do a video on who you should pick uh probably tomorrow just to yeah um pretty good banner overall i've gotten shafts on every single multi though so don't expect much expect to get literally no ssrs the entire way through because that's just how it works i wish there was a pity you know 150 pulls you get shafted you get an ssr but no we only get these um but yeah hope you guys have an amazing day let me know down below if you guys are going to summon and uh yeah I, I think it's very worth if you just want to have fun i think it's very very worth but yeah peace out and take care